so I'm Angie from Married to the Road and today we're just doing a quick little video just to show you um, how you can get access to a truck stop shower, how to use a point system, and what type of bags we use to go in and use our showers at the truck stops. Because a lot of times new truck drivers don't know how the shower system works, what um, an actual shower inside of a truck stop looks like and all that goes along with it and so we thought we'd just kind of do like a newbie intro on how truck stop showers work so I'm gonna be showing you in the next video uh, the bags that I use the bags that Larry uses um, the fact that we use Ziploc bags or little bags to keep all of our um, shampoo and conditioner and stuff in just so it doesn't leak all over the place um, but we thought it'd be a good video because this is one of the things we get asked about by new drivers or people who are in CDL school you know how do the truck shop truck stop showers work Whew, my tongue's tied anyway so this is just gonna be a quick little video kind of going through how they work um, the great thing about it is with almost every truck stop that's out there pretty much if you fuel then you earn a free shower um, most of the time you have to get their rewards card in order to get that free shower or you have to get a copy of the receipt showing how much fuel that you purchase and you also have to double check with whatever truck stop that you're going to to see what the minimum is some of them require a minimum of 65 gallons some of them require a minimum of 75 gallons so always double check especially if you're going to like a mom and pop or a smaller truck stop to find out what their qualifications are in order for you to get that free shower again if you are a team driver um, most truck stops the way they do team showers if you want two showers instead of one is that you just go up and say we'd like team showers show proof that you fueled whether it's on your mobile app or showing your receipt and nine times out of ten they'll give you two showers for one credit so in other words if you have let's say four shower credits at a pilot you go up to them and you have them scan the little QR code and you say that you want team showers they're only going to charge you for one shower credit and they'll still give you two showers so in other words they're giving you one for free um, now the cost of showers that that also um, changes from every truck stop and also what area you're in a lot of times we'll go to a pilot and fly in J and the showers could be $16 this morning the one we went to was $18 and sometimes in California I've seen them as high as $23 so and pilot and flying J loves are the ones that we usually use but the price changes according to what what part of the country you're in and what truck stop that you're using so always double check that as well but as far as being a new driver your rewards are your friend make sure you always use your rewards cards for any purchases you make in a truck stop the reason being is it's going to keep a copy of your receipt on your phone on your mobile app that way if you need to make any returns or you need to show proof that you've put in enough gallons in order to get that free shower and maybe it didn't credit your account for that shower credit use your mobile app it will keep track of all your receipts and it'll save you time in the long run so anyway now i'm going to show you um the bag that i use the bag that larry used and what a truck stop shower looks like so hopefully this is helpful to all of our new truckers out there and the ones that are in cdl school and just coming out on the road good morning on my ready so i am looking uh, spectacularly nasty this morning but we're gonna take you in and show you guys a tour of what a truck stop shower looks like uh today we're at a flying jay so we're gonna give you a tour kind of give you an idea of what the truck stop showers look like how you can get one especially if you're a new driver a lot of times new drivers haven't accumulated enough shower credits so we're gonna show you guys what a typical uh, shower looks like and how you can earn a free shower. I forgot to mention before we go in there, um, everybody uses different bathroom bags when they go into the shower. Larry, for example, uses a backpack. I used to use a backpack um, and that's what I take all my stuff in. Now I have switched to a diaper bag and I know it sounds silly, but for you girls, it really comes in handy. The nice thing about it is it has got the vinyl on the outside. So if you spill, it's easily to wash. It's got all the pockets on the outside. So as you can see, I've got my body wash here, my shampoo, my conditioner. I've got some of my leave-in conditioners here. Back here, I've got my face wash. And then the other thing I do is inside my bag, just to make sure that nothing spills onto my clothing or anything like that, I put everything in the individual bags. So like this is all my toothpaste and um, my toothbrush and stuff like that. This is my makeup bag. So I've got everything in the individual bags so that nothing spills out and leaks onto my clothes. Larry does the same thing. He's got a backpack and then inside of his bag, 
He's got uh, two little bags, one that's got all of his beard grooming products, because we all know Larry's beard. And then the other one carries his toothpaste, his toothbrush, and his shampoo and conditioner, so that you're keeping all of that into individual bags. Um, you could even use gallon Ziploc bags. That's what we used to do when we first started in the trucking industry, just to keep it so that if it accidentally spills inside of your bag, it's not gonna get all over the inside of your bag and all over your clothes. So whatever works for you. I used to use the backpack. Larry still uses a backpack. Um, you just want to make sure you have something that's going to be comfortable for you to take into the truck stop. We've even seen people going in there with roll-on suitcases. Now, I never have that much stuff to bring into a truck stop, but to each their own and whatever works for you. Um, I just switched to a backpack or a, a diaper bag because a good friend of mine started doing it. I thought, what a great idea because if it spills, it's going to be on the outside of my bag not on the inside of my bag where my clothing is and my brush and all the stuff that I don't want to get dirty and to have a mess on. And the nice thing about the diaper bag is I can just throw it in the washing machine if anything spills and it's going to come clean. And same thing with the backpack. So those are just what we use to go into the shower. Like I said, I've seen people take in roll on suitcases. So to each their own and whatever works for you. But I just thought I'd show you guys, you know, what we've learned over the years and what works for us. So let me know what you guys use when you go into the showers. Today we're using our Flying J mobile app and he's just scanning it to get us those team showers. All right, Larry, so how much is a shower if we didn't have shower points? $18 a shower. Ouch. Okay, so we're 31 and 32 and then so we're 12 and you don't have a shower yet. No, you do. 32. 12 and 10. All right, now we can go get our showers. Okay, so this is my shower number 12, and each of the receipts have got a little code on there. Larry's just going to punch the code into there, and it should allow us. Ooh, it's dark. And so usually the light turns on. All right, so use it. They have a bench, toilet. Your TAs and your Petros usually have a blow dryer. <clears throat> so I got done with my shower first and I'm waiting on Larry, but nothing feels better than a hot shower to get you out on the road. Enjoy.